The whispers guided her, leading her deeper and deeper into the woods. What's up everybody, it's me Lumbi from Lumbi True Stories, and today we have an interesting story for you guys, a special one. This one was made by AI, so we had AI make this one. So before we begin, please make sure to like and subscribe. The story is called Whispers in the Woods, and the story goes like this. Sarah had always loved the solitude of her family's cabin in the woods, nestled deep within the forest. It was her sanctuary from the bustling city life. This summer, she decided to spend a week there alone, hoping to find some peace and quiet. On the first night, as she sat by the fireplace, she heard faint whispers coming from the forest. Curious, she stepped outside into the porch. Carried by the cool night breeze, she just shrugged it off as if it was the wind just playing tricks on her and went back inside. The next day, Sarah explored the nearby trails. As she walked deeper into the woods, she started noticing symbols carved onto the trees. They looked ancient and foreboarding. She felt an eerie sensation, as if she was being watched, hastening her pace. She returned to the cabin, trying to shake off the feeling of unease. That night, the whispers returned louder and more insistent. They seemed to be coming from all directions, encircling the cabin. Sarah felt a chill run down her spine. She closed all windows and doors. But the whispers seeped through the walls, echoing in her mind. Unable to sleep, Sarah decided to investigate. Armed with a flashlight and a sense of determination, she stepped into the dark forest. The whispers guided her, leading her deeper and deeper into the woods. Her flashlight flickered, and the darkness seems to close in around her. After what felt like hours, she stumbled upon a clearing. In the center stood an ancient twisted tree with a hollow trunk. The whispers were deafening now, coming in within the trees. Gathering her courage, Sarah approached the hollow. Inside, she found a small worn journal. It belonged to a previous owner of the cabin, dated back to the early 90s. The entry spoke of strange occurrences, whispers in the night and a presence that haunted the forest. The last entry was a warning. Do not listen to the whispers. They lead to darkness. The whispers grew into a cacophony of voices. She felt an uneasy force pulling her towards the tree. Panicking, she dropped the journal and ran straight for the cabin. The whispers were chasing her every step. Back in the cabin, Sarah locked herself in. The whispers were relentless, and now joined by shadows that danced on the walls. She could feel their malicious presence. She could feel their malicious presence closing in on her. Desperate, she grabbed the journal and read the last entry. To silence the whispers, you must face the darkness within the tree. With no other choice, Sarah knew what she had to do. She made her way back to the twisted tree, the whispers now screaming in her ears. Summoning all her strength, she reached into the hollow trunk. A cold, dark energy scored through her. The whispers stopped abruptly, replaced by an oppressive silence. Sarah felt herself being pulled into the hollow, her vision fading to black. When she awoke, she was lying on the forest floor, the morning sun filtering through the trees. The twisted tree was gone, replaced by a circle of fresh green grass. The forest felt different, lighter as if a great weight had been lifted. As she drove away, she glanced back at the forest. For a brief moment, she thought she saw a shadowy figure standing among the trees, watching her leave. The whispers may have been silenced, but the darkness remains, lurking in the depths of the woods, waiting for the next soul to scrumble to its call. So guys, what do you think about the story? As I mentioned in the beginning, this was all written by AI, 
So, how do you guys rate AI's writing skills? Was it scary? Was it boring? Just let me know in the comments down below. And please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.